How you doing, folks? What did I say to you? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Morgan O'Flaherty, Machinery of Ireland. If you want to give a like, if you haven't already, give a like, give a subscribe. We try and put up a video every Friday. We're here this morning in West Cork, in Skull, and a friend of mine, Gavin McCarthy's. Um, we've been here before. Gavin has a massive selection of tractors, as you can see. A 7740 with a 43000 and some fantastic stuff, parts, whatever you want, they're here. There was a beautiful 66 here the last time, needed a lot of work and it's gone. Um, some for the found a home for it, I presume. Uh, it, the body was rough on it, but it mechanically it was very good, but it's gone. So we're going to turn the camera and we're going to give a look at what Gavin has in store for you. Um, if you want any of these, contact Gavin McCarthy, he's here in Skull. Um, call away down and see what he has, he might have something for you. He is, usually has something for everyone. Um, I nearly guarantee you he has a tractor for everyone here. There's a, upwards of about 60 tractors here in total. All right. These tractors are tractors that were traded in and stuff like that. Later on, maybe in the next video we'll do the, the newer tractors in the yard below. All right, let's turn the camera and we go from there. <coughs> All right, guys, here we go. We have a T5030 with grass tires. I'm fairly certain that was there the last time we were here as well. And of course, the little Ford. Um, Ford, originally, I suppose, a West Cork company, we'll call it. Henry Ford, Henry Ford's grandfather, Henry Ford's father, grandfather. Um, father, I presume, was originally from West Cork. Not too far down the road, not too far from Clonakilty. There's a museum below there. If you're ever passing, you ever want to call to see it. Um, nice 7740 again. That was again here the last time we were here. Uh, we asked, did anyone know who it was? Grassman and 7740 written on the cab. Um, what have we inside there? We have a couple of internationals. Uh, a 5640 here. I like that David Brown. Um, what is she, lads? I don't know what she is, really. She's a four cylinder, so she could be a 13. Her 1494. Oh, she's a case. You can see the case badge. Case David Brown. Uh, 5640, like I said. It's raining away here, guys. It's kind of miserable. That's a nice little case. Oh, CX80. Case New Holland tractor. And we have a 6480 Dyna Massey Ferguson here. Nice tractor again. Oh, we have a T6010. This is, without doubt, <coughs> excuse me, my kind of Valtra. This is the Valtra that I want. Um, Valtra Vamos, she's the 6400. Not too sure the horsepower of them. Um, Valtra, was Valtra? Valtra was a tractor. I know they were originally Volvos. Um, Valtra was a Vamnet, the forestry company. It was the two two companies merged to make Valtra and to make Valtra Vamnet. One of them was a forestry company. The other one was was um was Volvo tractors basically. <coughs> okay, what else have we? What's that? I don't know what that is. She's a nice tidy tractor as well. Of course, with the cab off the feet, agri below. Um, there's a nice. Terex inside in the corner, 970, and we have a T6010. Um, this yoke is sold, unfortunately. The motorfell is have asked about that. is absolutely frightening. It's um, she's the Ford. She's kind of a moxie, I suppose, really, but it's there. It's sold. Sorry. Um, we have an 860 massive um, a firm mech, 860. Uh, again great machine getting very hard to get hard to locate the whole lot um, I believe this is a 165 I know fellas will be asking me after is she the square axle or the round axle but she has the the square axles um, again fellas asked about that but uh, it's there it is for sale but unfortunately they, they do they're inclined to make big enough money because there is 
an export market on them at the moment as far as I know. Back in the 7 8 10. Alright guys, what have we here? This is a nice yoke, she's she four potter, she is. I don't know what she is, she's a 13. A 13.94. She's a four cylinder, a four cylinder, and <coughs> excuse me. And we have this yoke that's a 1494. I was looking at that the last time I was here. We'll come back and give a look at that in another video. JCB as I'm frozen I'm after driving up in the car and of course the heat in the car I know it's lashing but it's not it's a heavy heavy mist here when I sat now I was talking to me on the other hand this is a 6.6 six. it's not the same 6.6 six that was down further the other one is gone I whether they scrapped it or what happened it I don't know what's that New Holland over here see no I can't see they have a bronze that's this is all here for you these are kind of yokes that were traded in and haven't been gone through yet but if you see anything here that you like or see you see anything that kind of catches your fancy over a 20 diesel um just make sure to give Gavin a ring you have McCarthy and score look, that's his details there, look. Press pause and there you go. Nice 20 diesel, easy restoration project for someone. TS115. international again what is she she's a 574 and we have a case maximum 115 again fantastic looking tractors across the road we have a 664 for New Holland I think he Gavin had this out in the St. Patrick's Day Parade there lately my sat nav is still talking to me in my pocket um, a T6030 again, we run them up the other yard. Um, a Ford 46, nice tidy little tractor, um, be becoming very, very, very connectable for everyone. Um, making big enough for money, but sure, look, that's the New York's only after being traded in. This is the, the wash bay, so she's lined up for the wash bay. Um, nice New Holland, she a TS115 again. And another 110, maximum 110. We get a, a better look at that yoke. That's a nice tidy tractor as well, that's that's a nice tidy tractor. What else do we have here? Good tires in that one. What do we say she was? It's T6030. Farm, farm master turbo. That's one day a great machine. I remember a neighbor of ours had one of them at, at pit silage, and they were a serious yoke up in the pit. And of course, it was a big yoke up in the pit. It's only a tie now. A 
that's all it is now it's only a tie compared to what what's out there now I remember Thomas Moynihan and Camp had one of them putting up silage and it was it was a serious weapon it was just it was a big loading shovel like and I just I remember tearing along the road in it and they put up a lot of silage what's this nice seven six nice seven six anyone um a lot of silage drawn I remember Michael Graney yeah Michael Graney had one of these he had he when I was started with Michael Graney and Brandon he had two seven sevens he had a seven six and he had a Landini 10,000 drawn silage this would have been pulling um probably a 14 foot kin wooden trailer um they were they were nice tractor they were slow but it was it was a nice straight tractor and she's there for you if you want it um this yoke was here the last time we were here as well i think it's a u is it a universal either a universal or a nurses um it's possibly a universal um yeah okay swing up keep going Head west towards Barry's Road. Oh, Barry's Road. And um, we were looking at this one as well the last time. She's a 965 uh, kind of a Fermic. You know, she has the, she more or less has the equal wheels. She's here for you. Has good tyres in it. First look. A, no, this is the tractor. Look. A 4610. They are an absolutely beautiful tractor. Like the, the brand new tires in the back of it, the tires in the front are what are they? Seventy-five percent. Like that's a freaking handsome tractor. Look at the cabinet. She's absolutely spotless. I like the weight carrier on the front of it. A four six ten lads. She'd be an ideal tractor farmer tractor or a tractor for a collector or a tractor for a tractor run. Something like that. If we can get up around the other side, you see can we no, I'm not going to go rooting, but look at the cab lads. There's no rust, there's no nothing. She is an absolutely handsome tractor. Look at a small bit of rust here, but the bottom of the doors are perfect. She's, God, she's a beautiful tractor. She's a Series 3 as well. One the whole pile of difference. I think the Series 3 had longer um, kind of mud flaps in the back of it. 7840 there, look. Any for anyone? Um, frame off of a David Brown who asked me for a frame cab off of David Brown the other day someone asked me just a frame that's all they wanted oh. well if you're watching my videos you know it's there the Moffat I think I told some of you this before um, I was actually going to buy that I was actually going to buy that about about two years ago he uses it it's it's used here, well I won't say every day, but it's used, he has a set of forks on the front of it, and it's used for moving stuff around the yard. Um, Massey Ferguson 50 digger, kind of I suppose look for parts now at this stage. He has a couple of them scrapped, that's another 50 HX frame, um, that's a 50D. Um, yeah. T6090. Um, another digger there, another 6810, kind of thrown inside in the corner for parts. The Moffat, well, we never looked at that, David Brown, what's that? 1490. We never, oh well, she's only the, the back half of one. 1490. T6090. Why is she narrowed in so much? Is she on row crop? Well, the last time I was here as well, it was raining and the phone kept jumping because the phone kept getting wet. We have the, the kind of the Osmo now, so she's um, the wet doesn't affect it, right? What's this? We have a Case International. She's a six cylinder, so she's either. Um, a 1590 or 1690 but there's bits robbed off it whether she's robbed to be put back together or she's robbed for good we don't know but yeah there 
what's this one, a 1394 um, case international again, of course, and this is the first of the the cases, this one, if she's a genuine one, she'd be later than 1984, I think the, the, the David Brown name was dropped completely in 1984, and of course this tractor was the kind of the pre-runner to the the 5150 and the 5130s and the 5120s um what have we here an i7 740 nice tractor yeah this is what i suspected she's the european hitch she's imported i think he imported about five five or six of them i'm not too sure where they came in from they came in about a year ago i think this is the only one left so if it's of any interest to you like look how clean the cab is like look at that there's no rust no nothing no nothing i know a fella that bought a cab recently for a seven was it a seven eight ten or was it an a, a sorry an eight two ten it was and um the cab wasn't as good as what that is and he this is about a year ago and he paid over five thousand euro for the cab plus he to trade in his own they cannot be got all right guys we'll keep going I don't know what that is. There's a couple of more bits below in the corner, but we're not going to go rooting. This yoke, the last time I was here, she was fairly complete. I was hoping that somebody would rescue it, but after I made the, the video, Gavin told me that the engine, he thought the engine was actually kaput in it, but someone obviously has the wheels bought off with a, a couple more bits and pieces. Um, what else do we have? We have a T6020. Um, Green, fine New Holland, lovely, lovely little tractor. Um, tractor there for your good tyres all around. Um, spotlights, the whole lot, ready to, to go out the gap. And we have one more yoke over here. Um, seven six ten okay she needs a tidy up look at the cab she needs a tidy up but look it's possibly there for you um give gavin a ring here in skull in west cork i put his number in the the comments below but gavin is very very easy find his place called air hill in skull it's just out the the top of skull as if you're heading for oh down from mizzen head i think it's called but he's just there on the side of the road. Um, now, there's more stuff down the yard, in another yard, he is below. So we're going to go down and we'll make a video of that as well. Um, it'll be a part two, because we're up now in the best part of nearly 20 minutes. And so there's no point making the video. Um, 15, or going on for, I say 15, going on for 30 minutes long. There's no point doing that, so. What we'll do is we will um, just make a part two and I have a bit of a surprise. He saw us, maybe some of you might recognize it up the yard. But yeah, look, we'll go from there. And if you haven't already, please give a like, give a subscribe and um, we'll see you all in the next one. And like I said, contact Gavin if you saw anything, whether in the background or whether you saw anything that you might thought you might like. Um, yeah, give it a shout. Give Gavin a shout here and uh, he'll start to out transport the whole lot and he'll consider whatever you have as a trading. Cheers guys, thank you, bye now.